Hello everyone, my name is Ian. Welcome back to my hobby YouTube channel in brief book and film reviews. So today I'd like to give a review to an excellent book that I finished up reading about two or three weeks ago. This book is called Running with the Canyons and it's by an author by the name of Adaranand Finn. Okay, so this book is roughly 301 pages long. Um, this book was uh, originally published on the 10th of January 2010, so it's roughly 12, just over 12 years old. Uh, the publishers are Faber and Faber. Uh, the author is Darren Ann Finn. Um, I'm going to be calling him Mr. Mr. Finn because I don't want to offend him if he's watching this uh, by, call, by not pronouncing his name correctly in that. Um, Okay, so this book uh, won this uh, sports British Sports Book uh, of the Year Award for 2013, uh, the best newcomer uh, writer. And yeah, from start to finish, from start to finish, this is a a like a really really interesting book, a really good book. If you're a runner, you're gonna love this book. You really are. Uh, this uh, so a Darren and that uh, miss sorry, Mister Fan takes us on the journey of basically going over to Kenya through a childhood, a childhood experience of going up running uh, running for the local Harriers team being really good at it and then um, kind of like um, losing sight of, of running or having time to train running he then goes off one day I think he does a 10 uh, half a, uh, 10k uh, run and he kind of wins so he get, kind of gets his love back for, for it and he decides uh, to talk to his wife that he'd like to go off to Kenya. I think he has a sister-in-law over in Kenya. And he wants to go over there, live over there for six months with his family. Uh, they all settle in. They all kind of live normal civilian lives over there. Kids go to school. He trains. And uh, yeah, so basically he has a budgie. He, he takes a team of runners underneath his wing and uh, kind of gets like a team. Um, uh, so of in preparation to do a marathon, <clears throat> all with the quest of finding out what the what the secret is of Kenyan runners. Kenyan runners. So Kenyans are very good, excellent at running, along with the Ethiopians. Uh, but back in the time where he went over, the Kenyans were really kind of pushing to the forefront of uh, even excelling past the, the Ethiopians with the, with so many medals being won in the World Championships um, um, and the African Championships and also the Olympics. So he wants to find out, you know, what, what the history of these people are, why they're so good at it. Is, there, is it in their genes? Is it in the gaunt, I think it is, a running stance and that, you know, running style? And he basically bring, brings us all on a journey. It, it's kind of like a 300, 301 page memoir of a time of his, a time in his life, uh, six months of where he experienced so much uh, of something that he wanted to do. He immersed himself in this running, in this story, and he basically laid it down excellently. And uh, I can see why he won the award uh, for the best new writer. Uh, it was done, it was written down perfectly, got, got, went into um the kind of like each character in his team the he kind of explains who the background and stuff and that he also kind of explains the the western uh, philosophy of running as opposed to the to the uh uh, the uh, African uh, philosophy, or at least the Kenyan and Ethiopians, and uh, kind of like Northern African philosophy, the Moroccans and stuff, where um, it, it would be different than that, you know. Um, I won't say too much about it because I, I don't want to spoil the book. I think it's one of those books you really have to read if you're a runner. If you're a runner yourself, you're really gonna enjoy this book. Um, I took a lot from it m myself and that, you know. Uh, one of the things that the, the biggest thing that I took away from from this book would probably be, um running on my forefront as opposed to my heel and that um i find i found that after about 23k 26k uh of non-stop running i was kind of like my my legs were giving in and stuff and that but since i've read this book and it's only been a couple of weeks now uh back training uh looking forward to doing a marathon in in, in, uh, in the spring and that summer spring so training now I find I find that I can have more zip in my running and stuff. So if I was if I was to get one thing out of this, um, it would be to run on my forefoot. Now a lot of people would say, well, you could have found it out on the internet and stuff and that. But the way he breaks it down, or the way it's broken down to him, and then he explains it in the book perfectly. Um, he gives a great explanation into kind of 
all the kind of myths, uh, the myths and the the uh, the questions that he wanted to ask. And in the end, he doesn't really get. He gets a lot of answers, but he doesn't get nothing really kind of solid as to, uh, you know, what he may initially thought of. You know, what's the reason why they're so good? And I think, uh, I think he says at the end, it's basically down to hard work, dedication, and basically um, the difference between uh, kind of. Um, their life how, how much you can change uh, one's life and that way they're so good uh, you, you'll, you, if you read a book you'll understand exactly uh, what he means and I like I said I don't want to go into it too much because I will spoil a face and I don't want to spoil a book and that so um, yeah so that's it um, I found, uh, just wrote down a, f a few things as well <clears throat> the best bits uh, there was a lot of comedy in the book as well you know uh, one of my favorite parts in the book was when he talks about he took a day uh, from running from the village that he, he was based in um eaton uh, village or eton village again i don't know if i'm not pronouncing these names right um, and he goes off to the capital Nai Nai nairobi uh, he runs with a team of kind of like uh basically you know people who are kind of like just kind of fun runners and stuff and uh he explains how he went on a run with them and like it was he reminded me it reminded reminded me of myself so much in, in 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 the way what something that i would do myself and that you know and he, i'm sure when you're reading it you if you're especially if you're a runner you'll say i i've been know exactly what he's thinking of I've been through that mark and that, you know, where you, he's just, there's so much in it. It's really, really good. Very comical, even a little bit when he's explaining about certain athletes and stuff and that, you know, it's really, really, really funny and that, you know, um, it's got a good few chuckles out of it and I'm really happy that I read this book. Um, yeah, he also explains about the individuals and stuff and that, you know, his team members and stuff and I thought the way he broke it down and he was very, had a lot of empathy empathy uh, for the people that he was running with and, and you know, he, he was very, came across very honest, very honest and not very open. Um, yeah, and as his, um, what type of person he took from was the amount of dedicated desire for individuals to succeed. He talks about the Kenyans, their way of life and stuff and that, you know, and um yeah he just basically breaks everything down on that what he's been told and and stuff and uh yeah it's just a really really good book like i said i don't want to go into it too much um but it's a it's a book that i would highly recommend i, I, I really would um so that's about seven or eight minutes now there today okay so that's a uh, um it's saturday today um just got back from a long drive and uh that's it um I just wanted to wish everyone a happy weekend. Uh, stay blessed, stay positive, be safe. And um, I will be reviewing another uh, film very shortly within this week and that. So until then, take care, all the best.